Hey friends, welcome back to the 16th episode of iPhone app creation tutorial. Uh, so far, we have learned to create an app from the scratch, which is a book tracker tutorial. Um, it, it allows you to create books, save books, uh, delete books, and uh, and display books which you have already read or about to read or currently reading. Um, we will go ahead and continue the uh, tutorial forward. Uh, go ahead and click on the Xcode icon from the toolbar, open the application and run it once to see where we were. Okay, so the first time it takes a little bit of time, so just be a little patient as it comes along. There you go. So we learned about uh, deleting in the last tutorial, but what was happening is when we are deleting a record, it doesn't go away. And if you stop it and run it again, the record is gone. Why is it so? So just to refresh your memory, in the last tutorial, we wrote this function delete book, which took the context and the app, which defined the app delegate took the context from it we fetched a required uh, record from the database uh, where the book name was equal to the book name that you have selected and it queried it it found the record and deleted it but after deletion which is called from here we haven't refreshed the table if you recall this is a table we have and unless we don't tell the table that look the book is gone it won't know and it will not showcase the value according so go ahead and do two things here first you know that though you have deleted the book from the database or the entity you also need to delete from the variable books if you recall this books variable you had a load record where you're storing all the books so this is your variable within the class so though you're deleting from the entity since you're not querying again you have to delete it from here how to remove it you say from my books array remove the record which is at this particular index index path dot row remember you can do it in two ways you can ignore this and you can call the load record again which will load all the records from database since the book you'll delete will not be in the entity it will only bring the ones which are not deleted and showcase it accordingly uh, but that's not what we want to do. Why? Because anytime you're calling a function to retrieve data from the database, it's a costly operation. It takes time and it may slow down your app. So you want to do it wisely. It is deleted from here. We'll delete it from the memory as well. The array should do the job. And right after that, only deletion is not going to help you from the array. You need to reload the table as well so how do you reload the table two ways to do that one is you can use this table view uh, this table view is a reference to the table which is getting called upon it can reload data or you can use a table view name you have given for forming the association between this class and the table right so now go ahead and run this um, i think your um, reading is completely gone so you may have to create a record but let's go to to be read you have a three musketeers here let me delete that's gone read let's delete harry potter gone margarita is gone right so it is doing two things it's deleting from the entity after that deleting from the array and it's reloading the table to showcase the new records great so that's one part of the problem the other part of the problem is when you have same book uh, with the with the name um, what happens is it's deleting both so we have to uh, we have to correct that as well uh, let's delete all the records from the table for now there's no books existing now as you can see right let's stop this and to do that what we have to do is uh, i've already created one for you i have added a book id string so you can go ahead and delete this if you want um, just pressing the delete button and what you need to do is just to showcase i'm creating a book id which will be a unique id for every book and this id cannot be used once it is used for a particular book name okay so we will make it a string there's a string on right here and we will make sure we'll give a unique id to this so 
even if the book has the same name or maybe the same author name the book id will be always different how do you do that if you recall all of your saving of records are happening in the display book view controller correct so you go there and if you recall you have a save uh, not sorry add book view controller my bad if you know there is a function on a save book right this is the view controller where you're adding a book and there you need to just like you added a book name author name status and genre uh, i need to add the book id as well how do you do that you say book dot and it should show you the book id right there you can see and equals in case it is not showing just compile the program again it will come up sometimes the sync up takes time so you can compile it by pressing command and b uh, so it will build the whole application if it's not showing up so showing up is great so book dot book id you want to give a unique id there are many ways you can do that you can generate a random number uh, you can create an index of your own you can keep adding for example you can do one two three four and you can take the last book number and you can add on or you can use a default function provided by swift known as uuid which is unique identifier when you say uuid and in the init which is like call the function and you can say get me the string version of that because you remember book id is a string so by doing that you get a every time it is called by default it generates a unique number it's a long number you'll see that very soon i'll print it and show it to you it's a long number uh, which will be taken and it will be stored uh, and then when we are deleting instead of looking for a book name we'll delete using the book id okay so now that we have this now let's go back to your display uh, where you are deleting it and I am for the time being not going to call neither I'm going to delete the book from here nor I am going to delete it from here so I'm going to remark all this for now and what I'll do is I will print the book ID whenever it is there in the right index so I'll say print all the books are in books so you can say books you know the drill index path dot row dot book id right so i'll print this at least to showcase how the book id looks right so we'll go ahead and do that yeah put the exclamation mark to confirm yes there will be book id but before that we need to run and create some books we'll do a few things we'll create two books uh, with the same name right so go to add book i'll give the first book name is blink I give the author name is Malcolm Gladwell. I give the genre as nonfiction, oh. and then I will say this. I'm currently eating. Perfect. And add this. So when you add it, oh, I've said red. I'm sorry. I should say okay. That's fine. We'll say read. Okay. So add the next book also. Let's again add. Blink. This is another thing. When you go back, it is not cleaning up. So you can, you know how to do it in the saving. You may call the cleanup function as well, which you have, which we'll do. Maybe I'll show it to you in the next round. Okay. So for now, I'll give the same blink name. Maybe I'll give a different author. Just, just for now, I'll say blink. Uh, let's say William. And I'll keep them as read again and save it. Okay so when you say there are two blinks here right now if i want to delete this it should uh, delete the record right and for now what you'll see is that um, right now i have commented all the delete so the delete will not be called but it will at least show you the book id name you'll see that how uh, different the book id looks so let's go ahead and press on delete see this is a unique number if you press on this one Get a different number you see that it is 94 fc so it gives a unique number we'll use this to delete the book right so how do you do that just like your book name equals to i'll say instead of book name i'll say book id equals to and book id so if the book id is this so only that blink will be deleted which you want to delete not the other one make sense and then once it is done uh, you may like to 
take the print away we don't need to print anymore and uncomment all the other things right so all you have done is book id equal to this you created a book id and now if you do it will only delete the record that you're deleting not all the books with the name blank okay go ahead and run this okay go to read you have blink here delete this see this blink is still there now if you delete it it goes away great so this way i have you have learned that how you can create a unique id it is a good practice to have a unique id for every entity record that you create that way you can always uniquely identify it and retrieve it and do different functions on it all right so i told you one one more thing about um when you're creating a book and coming out and creating next time it fills the same value so you can see that here i can go to add book right now it is blank let's say i give a book name blink again since i deleted it and i give the author name as malcolm gladwell give the genre as non-fiction and i say to be read or currently reading maybe this time and save it if you want to create another book and you click on add book it is filling up all the values so how do you do that you already have written a function in your uh, in your this arrow function which is to clean all the value you can simply call it every time you're saving it so that it will clean it up right okay so what you can do is every time the view appears when the view did appear right in your add book controller you can have the same function as view did appear and you can call that function correct or while saving you can clean up as well so let's do this one we did a view did appear and we will try to clean it so go to add books and if you see here in the add books if you go to the top you have a view did appear already you have written that function for your table location what you also do is you call your reset button function right so reset button and you already have created a link to the reset button i presume which is i think this one so you can just pass reset button Well, let's run it and see if it is working fine as we expect it to run go to add book let's see i add another book uh, the last scintilla book written by me it is a work of fiction and it is I would say currently reading and I save it comes here and if you go here see everything is blank now because we call this function right so with that um, I leave you with this thought in the next uh, episode what you're going to learn is how to update a book let's say you entered the author name wrong or you want to change the book title how do you update it? So that's what we're going to learn next. Thank you for being with me and please do subscribe to my channel if you need new updated videos whenever I upload it in my channel. Take care now. Bye.